Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to add Visio to your Office 365 tenant subscription. As you see, there's a lot of apps here, but Visio is not on there. Uh, even if you go to Visio, Microsoft.com, uh, and sign in here, you still won't get Visio. What you actually need to do is, well, you need to go to that website first, Visio, Microsoft.com, that will redirect you here the first time. Then you go to see the plans and pricing, and then you need to add this subscription. And as you see, there are two options, the Visio Plan 1 and Visio Plan 2. And the main difference here, well, as you see, there's a lot of differences down here. But the main one, in my opinion at least, is that you get the desktop version of Visio app for your PC. So I'm going to try the 30 days free here and just continue. This will now add the subscription to the tenant subscription that I already have. And as you see, it adds the trial for 25 users. So not only for me, this is for the tenant. So I'm just going to continue that order. And there we go. Now I can go into the users here, the active users in my tenant. Find myself, Peter Kampstrom there. And just click on me there. And there we have the licenses and apps. And then I'll find Visio Plan 2. Now I only have 24 this licenses available. Your changes have been saved. And at least let's see if we have it here. Let's go to uh, other install options. Uh, descriptions, Visio Plan 2, very good. And apps and devices. There's my Visio, so there I can install the Visio in there. So I'll install that, and that of course starts the office setup wizard here. And I'll run through that, and that's going to take a few minutes, but then we're going to have Visio on the client. It's still not showing up here under my all apps. Here it is finally. The, the trick was a hard refresh. I just did Control Shift R to do a, a complete refresh, and then Visio did show up there eventually. All right, so now we can start creating Visio spreadsheets based on templates or blank ones right there. So, and there we are able to do our first Visio drawing on the web. So that concludes this demo on how to get started by adding your Visio subscription to your Office 365 tenant.